no, George R. R. Martin hasn't played Elden Ring. Of course, almost all the credit should go to Hidetaka Miyazaki and his astonishing team of games designers who have been laboring on this game for half a decade or more, determined to create the best video game ever, he went on. I am honored to have met them and worked with them, and to have played a part, however small, in creating this fantastic world and making Elden Ring the landmark mega-hit that it is. You'd be forgiven for not having total clarity on Martin's role in making Elden Ring. Marketing campaigns have promised a new world created by Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R. R. Martin. Martin himself refers to his work on the project as world-building, which matches from software's characterization of his involvement. George R. R. Martin wrote the mythos for Elden Ring, creating a history set long before the events of the game said producer Yasuhiro Katao in a From Software interview released by Bandai Namco. With that foundation, we then created the story, the world, and the actual gameplay. I have not played it because people seem to want this Winds of Winter's book, Martin said. Despite George R. R. Martin's involvement with Elden Ring, the author revealed he has not played From Software's latest epic for himself. Appearing on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, which was spotted by Games Radar, Martin explained why. I have not played it because people seem to want this Winds of Winter's book, Martin said. And I have, unfortunately, a totally addictive personality. I did play video games a long, long time ago. I played games like Railroad Tycoon and Master of Orion and Homeworld and I would get sucked into it, and weeks, months would go by and I'd be sitting there in my red flannel bathrobe just like, one more game, one more game, and, finally I went, I can't, I gotta go cold turkey on this, this is gonna kill me here. Martin went on to praise the team at From Software, calling Elden Ring the most beautiful game I have ever seen. It's really amazing, and amazingly detailed and the people who play it love it and I'm very gratified to have been a part of it. In the same interview with Colbert, Martin said that The Winds of Winter could be over 1,500 pages long, and that he's about three-quarters of the way done writing it. The penultimate entry of A Song of Ice and Fire is certainly keeping Martin very busy, along with other projects like HBO's House of the Dragon. Martin's involvement with Elden Ring was announced back at E3 2019, alongside the game's reveal. He was key to the foundation of the story, the game's bosses, and much of the overall world-building. Because so much of his work was won at the conceptual level, Martin's involvement with the project was actually completed years ago. Elden Ring director Hidetaka Miyazaki said he placed some restraints on Martin's contributions ensuring that the story always served the player experience. Clearly that old-school PC gaming made an impression on Martin, because he name-dropped many of the same titles when he discussed his contributions to Elden Ring in a blog post last year. In the interview with Colbert, Martin reiterated his role as world-builder for the game. Video games, which I didn't know actually take as long to make as a major motion picture, if not longer. Intensive development, Martin said. From software made it clear that Elden Ring was going to take place in, let's say, the present of the game universe. What they wanted me to write was what happened 5,000 years before that, that totally screwed up the world, so that the present was really messed up. I went back and I wrote a history of what happened 5,000 years before the current game, and who all the characters were, and who was killing each other, and what powers they had. Regardless of how long ago his role on Elden Ring was finished, Martin seems quite impressed with the final results. It's the most beautiful game I've ever seen. It's really amazing, and amazingly detailed, and the people who play it love it, and I'm very gratified to have been a part of it.